Morning, everyone. It's Monday of the sixth week of Ordinary Time. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Probably we've all been down that road. You know, things seem to be going well, and, and suddenly there's, there's a, a fork in the road. Suddenly we hit a pothole, and everything we thought was going to happen suddenly began to fall apart. Some people can handle that. Other people get crushed. So as we begin, let's kind of think about how we handle things in life that we just didn't think would ever happen. For the times we doubted ourselves, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, we teach us that you abide in the hearts that are just and true. Grant that we may be fashioned by your grace so as to become a dwelling place pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of Genesis. The man had relations with his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have produced the man with the help of the Lord. Next she bore his brother Abel. Abel became a keeper of flocks, and Cain a tiller of the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought an offering to the Lord from the fruit of the soil, while Abel, for his part, brought one of the best firstlings of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering he did not. Cain greatly resented this and was crestfallen. So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you so resentful and crestfallen? If you do well, you can hold up your head. But if not, sit as a demon lurking at the door. His urge is toward you, yet you can be his master. Cain said to his brother Abel, Let us go out to the field. When they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. Then the Lord asked Cain, Where is your brother Abel? He answered, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? The Lord then said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the soil. Therefore, you shall be banned from the soil that opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. If you till the soil, it shall no longer give you its produce. You shall become a restless wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is too great to bear. Since you have now banished me from the soil, and I must avoid your presence and become a restless wanderer on the earth, anyone may kill me at sight. Not so, the Lord said to him. If anyone kills Cain, Cain shall be avenged sevenfold. So the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest anyone should kill him at sight. Adam again had relations with his wife, and she gave birth to a son, whom she called Seth. God has granted me more offering in place of Abel, she said, because Cain slew him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song, offered to God a sacrifice of praise. Offered to God a sacrifice of praise. God the Lord has spoken in some of the earth, from the rising of the sun to its setting. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. You sit speaking against your brother, against your mother's son. You spread rumors. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drying them up before your eyes. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Friends, may the Lord be with you. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking us from him a sign from heaven to test him. He signed from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? And when I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. The Gospel of the Lord. 
I have a really, I think, a neat story to share with you, but I want to get the names down right. Um, during the Second World War, three people got together. Ruth Handler, her husband Elliot, and their partner, Harold Matt Matson. And what they decided to do was to design plastic picture frames from scrap pieces of lucite and plexiglass, all scrap pieces. And they made these picture frames, and she brought a sample to this one a woman that owned a, a many, many photographic studios. The woman liked what she saw, and so she told Ruth she placed a decent size order with Ruth. Ruth came back and told the two guys about it, and they got all excited. They made all these picture frames, and as she was ready to deliver them to this woman, she heard on the car radio that President Roosevelt had declared all plastics, even scrap pieces of plastics, were only to be used in the defense industry. They could not be used for any other purpose. Ruth turned the car around and went back and told the guys what the president has announced. Now, I think that many of us would say, well, you know, what do you do then? I mean, it was an important use for the plastics and you certainly couldn't use them for that stuff. Well, they sat down together and they came up with the idea of making picture frames out of scrap pieces of wood. So they made them out of the wood and uh, what they did was they painted them so they had like a cloth finish. They got someone to do that. And so she brought the sample to this lady and the lady, of course, that owned the photographic studios knew what the president said. She gave them credit for the ingenuity and she liked what she saw. So she gave an even bigger order to them. Well, they were all excited about that and that's what they began to do. But now there were scrap pieces of wood left over and Elliot had this idea. Why don't we make dollhouse furniture with it? And so that's what they did. They made dollhouse furniture and that really, really took off. Remember, Elliot and Matt formed a company and it was called the Mattel Toy Company. Many of us grew up with their toys. But the point to the whole story is simply this. You want to give up when your dream gets crushed. It's so easy to throw in the towel and say, ah, can't, can't do it, can't make it work. There's a good example. Three people that got together and made a huge success out of something that had gone right down the drain. But they got their heads together, they didn't give up. And I think that's what Jesus taught people when he walked on this earth, not to give up even when life is unfair. God bless. For the many opportunities we have to show God's love to others, we pray. For those who are discouraged that they will not give up on themselves, we pray. For kids who are struggling that they may not turn to drugs or alcohol, we pray. For children, especially the unborn, we pray. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to bless our lives through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. May these gifts, O Lord, cleanse and renew us. May they become for us the sacrament of our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, in you we live and move and have our being. Each day of our life, you show us the gift of a parent's love, your Holy Spirit dwelling within us, gives us here on earth the hope of an ending joy. And so once again, we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us 
body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember the deceased members of the Graham family and James, Helen, Lois, and Jim Gavigan, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. So offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide our journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone.